Hello! Hello. <laughs> you fucking bitch. You can't think of a pee, so you're trying to throw me off. Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis B. What's the piece stand for, bitch? For past hors d'oeuvres. Don't you love the past? You sat there and you thought and you you sabotaged me for past hors d'oeuvres. I just wanted to see what would happen. Well, I hope you enjoyed it because I hated that. You know what else I enjoyed? At my sister's wedding rehearsal dinner, there was a lot of trays of chocolate covered strawberries. And a lot my of trade. Friend, my friend Joel came with me. Oh, hi, Joel. Joel with a baby, <clears throat> you know. You talk about him every episode now. I, I literally say, don't. I Joel, literally listen, don't. You did last time and the time before that. Well, not because now, now he texts me about it. I just want to say, Joel, but we love you. Okay? One time, but, but like, it's too much. I you're not in love with him. Oh, you're a little jealous. He has a baby. You're a little jealous because he. He was my best friend before you. The amount of heavy lifting that I have to do in my current everyday life, <laughs> I would love for him to come back in and take some of that off my hands. Well, one time at my sister's wedding, rehearsal dinner, or wedding, whatever. No, it was a rehearsal dinner. She had these trays of chocolate covered strawberries and we went in the balcony and I think I ate like two whole trays by myself. That was the best past hors d'oeuvre I've ever had. We didn't, it didn't get to be passed around because I ate them all, but. You know what makes me feel so rich? A chocolate covered strawberry. Refusing a past hors d'oeuvre. Oh, Someone I would never up, do that, but I understand the imp. I understand. Someone in a white shirt offering you a plate, and you say, I'm oh, good. That, listen, I should never have money. I'll be that girl. You would be... Party down? Old Lady Grantham in Downton Abbey. No, I like to think that I would be dead what, from typhus. What is the weekend? No, I live my entire life as if it's still the weekend. I'm just a girl that likes to party and go to church. You know what? I'm a girl that likes to go to a movie by herself. And I did that last night. I saw Knockers the Cabin. You are going to get so much mileage out of this one strip <laughs> ribbon. I have more ribbon. I will give you more ribbon. How many times have you worn this? I've just worn it to Three I've times. I've worn this a couple of times. I wore it to work. <laughs> <laughs> you worn it four times. You are getting out of this one strip of... Look, I... I can give you more ribbon. I'd love to. I'd love you to. <laughs> I didn't realize that you were hurting for ribbons. I've got plenty of ribbons. I'm not. I just ribbon. love it when people give me things. Yeah. It makes it's me feel It's a really it's great special. idea, though, for this dress. I love it. I have had this dress in my cart in an app, a shopping app, for months, but I couldn't justify it because I don't really need it. And then and I we went. Don't do and then I went. And then anymore. I went in a. Um, Sometimes depends. In a thrift store that benefits cancer research, like a hospital thrift store, and it was right there, nine bucks. It benefits the research or benefits the cancer. I don't know. You need to check on that. But anyway, I saw an M. Night Shyamalan's Knockers the Cabin, and it was good. Can I tell you why you don't want to see it? Because I feel like the answer is easy. They have to kill someone in the cabin, right? Kill the kids. A large chunk of the movie, I was hearing this noise. I kept turning so around. Was eating popcorn really fast? I, I don't know what it was, but this... It sounds like a, a particular action that someone might do yeah. to someone they like a lot or someone might do to themselves if they're a perv. And as a perv myself, I was trying to see who it was. I could, ne mm. I never got eyes on him. Listen, putting people in a situation where they have to worry about other people's comfort, sometimes people fall back on behaviors that allow them to kind of disassociate. And one of those for them could be eating popcorn really fast. That is what you're talking about, right? I think so. But it was like, it was also wasn't really like a sexy movie particularly. Well, no, I mean it is about. But they were who's probably it was die. probably just about yeah yeah. I won't tell you. I won't tell you who dies. Good mm -mm. because I don't if, think anyone if, should who. die because there's too much to live for, like Drag Race. Now this episode of Drag Race, for those of you just joining us, there's still 24 contestants. This time they're breaking up into groups of three, which is so important. Three no three groups of four. Yeah. What I said. You said groups of three. But I know what you meant. You meant three groups. Sorry, I stayed up really late last night. I meant to go to a movie with my best friend, but then I realized I didn't want to. Yeah. So I've still got that on my brain. It's okay. They find out that they're going to do Golden Girls as a pop group. Yeah, it's, it's like a pop number, but they have to be old. They have to be old, which is so important So important to be old these days. It's very in right now. Alexis there are, and I, that's why we're doing it. We're trying it on. There aren't enough old lady or old men pop groups. Well, no, there are old men pop groups. Aerosmith, Kiss. The, the other Steven Tyler, the Wiggle. Did you see mm. the new Wiggle on TikTok? Hi. <laughs> Listen, this first. <laughs> 
Uh, have you checked Speaking out Thirst Trap ladies, Wiggle? Let's talk about Wiggle. Listen, his Wiggle is young, Sir. hung, and ready. So wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> So anyway, so they're gonna be old people, and so they're like, let's call in the pit crew. And the pit crew <gasps> comes in, and it's the old, old gays! Minus one. Minus one. They were a group of three. I hope he's okay. Did we check on him? Well, this was filmed a year and a half ago, and he is still alive currently. So oh, I have oh, to good. Assume maybe he had COVID, or maybe, you know what I bet it was. Okay, you know how I'm going through my bi-porn era? It's kind of turning into a still? lifestyle. Yeah, I'm very into bi -porn. It's been a couple of months now. It's been a year, at least. Listen, I am... I'm in there. Maybe he's also in his bi porn era, and now he's realizing maybe he's more straight than gay, so maybe he was trying to find a bunch of old straight people to start his own old straight group. So it's like. That's just him. Congress. Anyway, it, but that was I really was cute. It was nice to see them. I wish. I can't believe I'm saying this. I see the benefit of the longer episodes because maybe we could have had like a mini challenge with them or something. It felt silly for them to just come out. Also, why wasn't Rue in a Speedo as well? She could have filled in. She would have fit right she in. She could have filled in. Yeah. She could have filled in. Now, as we make these age jokes and as we are currently sufferers Young. of age, oh. there was a conversation with Sasha Colby where oh, Spice was lovely. like, we call you the old one. How do you feel about that? Yeah. And she was just saying how a lot of trans women and don't even get to live to see 30. So, so to be able to still be alive and living her mm -hmm. life is a privilege. Yeah, it was a lovely moment. Especially, that's something that kind of, while we're talking about the old gays, that's always brought me a lot of comfort and gratitude as I have continued to age gracefully and beautifully, some, some have well, said. Well, because growing up, your family members told you you would die. I thought killed. I was going to die by 30. I really did. Yeah. Like, we weren't educated because Jesus said... No, Stop it. Seeing old gays thriving, seeing Sasha, a trans woman thriving, mm. like it, it really- It is really powerful. And it really does, at least for me, I can't speak for you. But, no, you can. Okay, as a trans woman, I must say, it takes the sting of aging away. It, yeah. it truly, for me, part of me, I feel so honored to still be here when so many other people who in my own mind are more deserving of being here. You know, all the shit we tell mm -hmm, ourselves. Mm -hmm. I just, I think it's a beautiful thing. That so call me really old lovely. baby. Well, and that just brings us to our announcement, which is IMHO has been renewed for another 20 seasons. So yeah. we will be here. You will see us when we start to show signs of aging. And I, I just hope you Maybe. will accept us. If we do. You will yeah. accept us as much as you accept oh, those old gays. Yeah, I do want to be clear. <clears throat> Being older is like an honor, but looking old is still a curse. Was that not clear? You, you've cleared it up. Okay, so they break into groups. Now we get... There's a little drama of deciding who gets gate. what. No, what is it? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, no, no, no. Rock, Oh, gate. metal versus... Metal gate. Metal versus country. We get metal gate. Two groups. Two both groups, want one metal. metal. Nobody wants country. Lux, which, which, like, honestly, country's funny. I, well, we're from country-ish places. And that's not funny. So Although we understand. Although it did create a really funny dynamic between the two of us. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like, remember the corn? And she's like, I look like a scarecrow. And I'm like, yeah, you do. <laughs> 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 look at your bow. Ooh! So, so we get a little back and forth. A lot of like, Mistress no. and Lux are just saying, no. No, we're, we're going to do it. We're not doing it. And the only one that really is like holding tight is Malaysia. Malaysia. She which is like, good. I'm glad she held her own. Yeah. Where she lost me. And she lost you too. When someone suggested rock, paper, scissors, and she said, no, I'm not doing rock, paper, scissors. Let's pull that out of a hat. <laughs> yeah. I'm not playing this game of chance. Why don't we play a game of chance? <laughs> Oh, Malaysia, my, we well, loved you for Well, I think what it was, was, because even her group, because Sasha even started giving, because she's like, we'll rock whatever we get. And then Malaysia's like, don't back down. And oh, then Sasha's like, yeah, that. we're not backing down. We'll pull from a hat or whatever. <laughs> but it was really funny. They end up winning. They, they end up winning. Metal. They get medal. Then Mistress, Lots who's been mistress. sitting over here like, we're just going to do it. Like, y'all better. She goes, why was everyone so serious? We were just joking. <laughs> Mistress Isabel Wait it. is still gaslight gatekeep girl boss. Truly, thank you for farting. It was beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, Mr. Paul looked so gorgeous. Legs up to here. I loved it. Yeah, you did. You know how many times people get in trouble on Drag Race for being able to almost see your pussy but not? Well, we never did. 
We exactly. never did. Exactly. And that's the difference. She, she creates the rules, okay? She changes the rules with her pussy. And I, is it, I love it. Is there it. a meme with Peter Griffin and his legs go up to here? Yes. Where he's just That's what Rue was giving me. Peter Griffin with legs. No, 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 but like, she, but like. No, I know what you mean. You know because what her I mean. legs were so long. I loved it. As yeah, someone with I liked extremely it. Extremely long legs myself. I. And I also loved the guest judge, Miss Megan Stalter, who I feel like we have seen risen from the videos from on the Instagram ashes. and TikTok from the to dirt. the stage to the from TV. From the dirt. We've seen her twice. Yeah, we just saw her. We saw her, her in Chicago Pat. and we saw her again in LA. With Pat and Oswald. She's so funny. I think she's. She's the future. The future. And I love, too, when they were doing the commentary, Meg was doing her whole character, which is, uh, I don't know, I'm really awkward. and Which is like, blah, blah. yeah. And Rue was laughing so hard that by the end, even Rue did Meg's <laughs> Rue tried style to joke. Do it. And I was like, that's the power of Meg Stalter. I think Meg yeah. Stalter's the future. Yeah. Folks, if you move haven't seen her live, move you Move over, Jay Leno. Out. I thought you were about to say J-Lo. I was like, yes, Meg Stalter's the new J-Lo. Oh my God. I told you about this. I had a dream the other night okay, with people Jennifer, love Jennifer about Lopez. Other people's dreams. No, I know, I know, I know, but Jennifer Lopez. Sure. There was like an outdoor venue and I rounded the corner and I saw Jennifer Lopez on the stage and all I did was go, ooh. And then later I went to so meet if you up ever with saw a friend. Jennifer Lopez in real life, you think your reaction would be, Ooh. No, I think I'm learning now when you see people to just like pretend like you do not see. Yeah. Pretend I do not see. Listen, if you live in LA, you have to. She yelled at me, just... end of dream. But she did? In my dream. She came over and yelled at me as to why I would make that sound and what it meant and like you disrupted you the thing. It was a whole thing. I was you in a towel that. at the time, but it was one of those Steamworks towels, so it wasn't covering everything, you know oh what my I mean? God. She's yelling at me, so a crowd is drawing, and it was just, it was really uncomfortable. It was one of those, you know, dreams where, have you ever had a dream where you go to school naked and you're like, oh God? No, but I have had a dream where I went to school naked and everyone was like, damn. You're, you're <laughs> no, really scary. Everyone's like, you go to school, like, everyone's like, huh. No, uh they could see it coming from me. I'm tall and skinny. Goofy dead, goofy dead. <laughs> oh. Anyway, let's go ahead and see these girl groups. Now, up first, we have Country. This is the group this that didn't want Country. This is the group that didn't want Country, but they... Killed it. They pulled their bootstrap. They pulled, they their, pulled their tits out of their boots. What boots have straps? Work boots. But are they straps or are they like... Handles. Yeah, the little like, well, they could be... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they're straps. They're little handles, but they're straps. Those are straps. That's a leather strap. Think about like these little poles. Those are leather. Like if they were tight, they'd be straps. Right? Oh, I guess if they're like loops. If they're loops. They're straps, but they looped them together. Yeah. I just feel like straps are longer. Well, would you want to walk around with straps that drag the ground behind you? And you're like, just in case I need well, to you lift tie myself them. up. You tie them. You tie your straps. That's the phrase. You pull your boots up, you pull, get up by your bootstraps and tie them around the old yellow tree or whatever. Tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. Hmm. And party Have with this pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask if you've heard Dolly's version of it, but obviously not. <laughs> Sorry. I thought they were really good. Mistress cracked me Mistress up. Mistress cracked me up. London has a Lux lovely has a voice. Lux gorgeous voice. Lux Noir London has a gorgeous voice. I know what you meant. I know what you meant. I loved it. You've been watching a lot of Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, so you've got London on the brain. I get it. I never watched that show. Can you I missed honest? out. You are the mom. The you only are celebrity mom. twins for me. If I did the only cast celebrity any twins for me you'd, you'd are Mary Kate and uh, Ashley. And I understand them. that they don't want to be in the spotlight anymore. I respect that, but I still appreciate them. And I like the row. New York Minute. I don't even care about their works. What? I just want them to be happy and at peace. You know, they've had a rough time. And as a former child star myself, I understand. What? Like, there's a very, it's a small club Child of star in what way? Like, you know, Didn't just... you lose a talent show? Twice? Did I ever tell you the story of when I shot a commercial for my dad's client and they couldn't use me? Okay. Listen, <laughs> my dad owned an advertising company. Was he bad yet or was he still kind of fine? Yet? Can I be honest with you? As I look back with it with rose colored glasses now burned to death and now my glasses are made of spider webs or I don't peptides. Know, yeah, peptides. <laughs> I think he's always been really bad. Okay, yeah. So anyway, dad was doing advertising for this company who developed this cereal box that opened like a milk carton. So when you <gasps> poured cereal, it didn't go everywhere and it looked like a milk carton. So that's cute right that's brilliant 
out. Yeah, it didn't end up going anywhere, and it's definitely my fault. I'm just kidding. So they wanted twins to open cereal box. One opens a regular one, one opens the like the right one the right way and pour the cereal. So to show like uh they're both twin. Why were we twins? It doesn't matter. So they hired hired. My dad used Well, cuz there was Mikey over. from Life. Mikey, yeah, they he liked it, Mikey's. so they wanted two of those. Yeah. But instead they got Mikey and kind of Michaela. Because here's what <laughs> happened. Grant got the regular box and he had to do, you know, like infomercials where, hey baby girl. Come on. You know how like in infomercials when people are opening cabinets and they it's like they've never opened a cabinet before and everything falls apart. Yeah. So Grant had to do that where he opened, he tried to pour cereal and cereal goes everywhere and he's like, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I'm supposed to be standing there like watching him struggle and then I open <laughs> my box. Over his shoulder in a robe, just like. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a robe, but that was like my own choice. No, but so then I'm. Oh, she's looking at your feet. She loves feet. Don't and you're always feet, barefoot baby. in my house for some reason. So I pick up mine, I open the little thing, and I pour it, and then I'm supposed to eat the cereal like, ha ha. Well, I'm gay, so <laughs> apparently I did it too sassy, which is <laughs> <laughs> what my dad said later on, because we saw the commercial, and we... S you don't have a real commercial, do you? I don't have it. I would have to talk to my dad, and you know I'm against that. But we saw the commercial. I'll draft an email. Start with, hey, Patriot. He'll, he'll open it for sure. Okay. It just shows Grant spilling his cereal everywhere. And it shows a close-up of my fingers opening the, the regular box. But you don't see me pouring the cereal. And I was like, why is that? And my dad wouldn't tell me. And then it was many years later that my brother was like, yeah, dad told me that you were too gay. That it just read too sassy. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I am kind of sassy. Oh my God, that is incredible. Stop okay, sending hold on. my down an email. Hold on, I'm almost done. Start with forward, 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 Patriot Gun America. I think you should read it. Don't read over it first, just read it. Hey, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, now he's gonna be hard. It's Drew's friend, oh, who uses my government name, Alexis. I'm stuck in Nigeria and need $2,000 in iTunes gift cards to get home. <laughs> My dad did fall for one of those. He didn't have $2,000, but luckily my mom did. Also, they want to see the commercial of the twins in the cereal. <laughs> Love, Alexis. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Quick, nutting me fast. Did I spell that right? Yeah. Let's do Hard Rock. I mean, Sasha Colby. Yes, Sasha Colby. Or Metal, whatever. Absolutely blew me away. Slade. Again. Slade. So fucking good. She looked crazy. She looked like this. We used to have this nanny. Her name was Buzzy. Okay. She was a bus <gasps> driver. She was a bus driver. Her name was Buzzy. Buzzy the bus and driver? She was just the most, That's a child book. She was the most lesbianic woman. Well, maybe it was written about her. Was Buzzy built real like You sturdy? write it. I'll read it at a drag queen's with oh. story hour and then we'll you get You gotta read it like this though. I'm Buzzy. I just haven't found the right guy yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Buzzy. Sasha was great. Can we talk about Aura? I liked Aura. I thought she was giving Riff Raff in Rocky Horror, which was a good vibe. They kind of did a thing earlier with the recording when they were saying like, they were giving it like she was having a hard time and this was kind of a comeback or whatever, redemption. I thought she was fine. I thought Sasha was the standout. I thought she was fine. I agree. And I like Aura. We're team Aura. We Listen, I love Aura. The edit she's getting on this show is really strange. It could also be her, just how she's performing on the show. I don't know. It's not, I, I don't know. We but, don't know anything. But, but the, obviously, if you're watching this, you, you don't either. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot, you fell for us. Subscribe. I thought she was fine. So I was very surprised. That I she thought she did a top. good job. But yeah, she was fine. The other people in the group were who? Exactly. So and next. then the next one was hip hop. And I gotta say, I didn't notice Anitra. I mean, I'm, I think I blinded to Anitra, any misgiving. I didn't notice her missing words, but maybe I wasn't paying attention. I thought she looked great. Here's the other thing. Was the rap group so bad compared to the other groups? No. I have seen so, Rue laugh at did way it dumber make things. Sense? Did it make sense that no one laughed except for the very end Meg Stalter went, ha ha. Did it make sense that Anitra is they kinda pounding laugh during Lucy her LaDuca. pussy? No, Robin. Robin's pounding her pussy and not a single, they cut, they even cut away, editors cut away to Rue to going. To Rue going, 
like, while she's what pounding her that? pussy on the ground. That's not real. An old lady well, pounding her pussy is hilarious. Yeah. Well, they did give Lucy a little laugh. Lucy's was really funny because she's really good at that I thought stuff. Lucy was fantastic. I thought Lucy was the standout of her group as well. But I, I call shenanigans because, again, I've seen them laugh at way dumber stuff. I didn't think that was that any worse than the other group. I think they... Oh, you can see that my necklace was... My neck is too big and so made my necklace... Sorry. But yeah. does it move like a testicle? It gave very shenanigans. And listen, uh, I am not uh, the world's biggest Jax fan. I think Jax is fine. And I like... I like Jax. I like Jax as a person. Even I was like... She's doing great. I thought she did great on the choreography. Yeah. Thing. I don't know. The whole I thing was really strange. I call It's weird. It was, it was weird. The people... It read weird. Okay, let's go through the tie-dye real quick. It gave me weird. Let's go through the tie-dye real quick. I'm really sad. I like this. I, I like this runway. The category we got is... zero... Tie-dye. What? We got like zero time with any of them. The category is tie-dye. We don't own tie-dye because I guess we I actually was we wearing a tie-dye dre shirt dress. We believe in... I'm wearing Cuban capitalism. Cubanism tie-dye. Tie -dye. And I'm wearing capitalism. So I'm wearing Killed I'm wearing tie dye that's not squished yet. Do you ever tie dye anything, shirts or anything? That's a child. Yeah, me too. When we'd run out of books, because in Tennessee they were short on books, because not a lot of people ha like read, and so we would just tie dye shirts at school. Yeah, Anitra. Cool. I love her. I love her on the runway. Oh, I, I, thought I could so watch cool. her walk all damn day. I love a deconstructed look that looks well constructed. I like her. I just like her. I like her. Okay, Jax. Orange undersuit, tie-dye over things. Strange. Strange. It looked like a cowhide almost on top. Like it looked like. Well, she I didn't cut have a problem with the tie dye. It was the it was bizarre. the like it was the like safety colors of the neon green hair and the orange undersuit. Safety colors. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah, I put her in the middle of the road. Lucy Laduca, very cute, very business, big business. Lucy Laduca tie dye, big business tie dye. Love, if I, I like it. Room and I someone like it. Says, Sign this deal. You need to buy low, sell high. Wipe your signature on this. If you wouldn't mind wiping your signature, tie -dye I'd form. say, excuse me, you look tie dye. <laughs> I believe that you went to school because you know some schools their colors are tie dye. Harvard, really? Harvard, yeah, their colors are tie dye oh, and yeah. gold for bullions. Robin Fierce, I thought she looked so beautiful, Gorge. like a Barbie. The blonde the hair. The long blonde hair, and she's so tall. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think I see enough talk about how outrageously beautiful she is on the internet. Like, I need to see more of it. Yeah, she's I agree just, with you. I, I think she's more. beautiful. We need more. Talk about her more. You're not You're not understanding if you don't. Please write in the comments yeah. how stunning she this is. is. This right? is, this is beautiful. Right, she looks like Linda Evangelista. Right, that she yeah. looks like the rest of that speech. Mistress Isabel Brooks, gorgeous. She's kind of amethyst crystal I liked eyes. it. I loved it, yeah. Incredible. Cool. Lux Noir London, always giving fashion, always giving body. I loved body. it. Yeah, that and I like that her hair. And the and the body. Yeah. Selena as titties, she looked beautiful. She reminded me of the fish. Remember when Angelina Jolie was the fish in that movie? No. I don't remember what it's called, but there was finding, you know how there was- Car wash! No, no, no. But that was the hit song from it, was car wash. That's ridiculous. Cars can't go in the ocean and work still. But they can get washed. Um, Fishtail! Fish. Fishtail! Fishtail! Because you know how there's ants in a bug's life? Mm. And then there was Nemo or whatever and Fishtail mm -hmm. or whatever. Angelina Jolie. This is, this is, yeah, I think she looks beautiful. It's not for me. That's okay. I want to talk about Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Now. Okay. I didn't. I didn't see. It doesn't make any sense. Listen, I want you to look at the picture. But I'm colorblind, and so I thought perhaps I just can't see it. I'm not colorblind. I'm I, color deficient. I don't think I could see it either. If you look in this picture from your TV, though, there is tie dye in the drops. You could not read that on from what we the naked eye. After the episode, and my eyes were naked I went on at the Twitter. Time. I was hoping that she had addressed she did. it swiftly, and she did. And she said she I did. wanted to do a Marsha thing that was like, well, the blood. Is I like the dye. where her head's at. That's a that's funny. I like where but her head's at. But then where was the tie dye? Part? I just where it, it, it was gone within the drips, but you couldn't know, see but it. it. The whole dress should have been a, a red tie dye. Like the skirt should have been red tie dye. Like the blood just be Marsha when they go into the concert or whatever, and they do tie dye. Remember that? Or when she was in that car accident 
I like Marsha. I I can't I, believe I like we where just her head's skipped at. over it. I can't believe she was they did lucky. not put her she in the bottom for that. She was so lucky. That she has is a beautiful voice. Bonkers. Oh, she has a gorgeous voice. It does. That's bonkers. She was to me. very lucky that she didn't that get red for this, or maybe she did, and we just didn't see it because it was an hour-long episode. So bonkers. An hour and a half. I like Marsha. I like where her head's at. I like that she's trying to take the prompts and do oh, like I other love, things with them. I love this a one. Didn't I, love, I didn't understand. I love when a prompt is turned on its head. I don't love when a prompt is bludgeoned and bleeds out. I don't like when you sense. when you use the prompt to throw it at your face and your nose bleeds. Let's move on, because I do like Marsha. I didn't want to be mean. Sasha Colby, gorgeous. Cool. Tie-dye. Classic tie-dye, too. Yeah, I loved it. Uh, fish, like the band, because your husband likes fish, and that's tie-dye. Mm -hmm. Or Grateful Dead. Grateful Dead is what I'm thinking of. He likes all of them. Grateful Dead. Really? They're all tie-dye. Grateful Dead, Fish, and Disco Biscuits. I've heard every song they've ever played because they all played one song. You know, the first time I dropped acid. <laughs> the first? I'd rip my skin off. The second I time. I know I would. I'm not doing the it. The second time I did it with um, Adderall. And I really thought I was going to die. You should have. I should be dead. I was telling my therapist today. There's so many opportunities for me to have died. When your therapist's name is Paul, you can't shorten it to there. Because Paul is such a bomb-ass name. But I can't I love dox it. him publicly by saying his name. You didn't say his last name? You didn't even say what state he's in. <laughs> Isn't that, like, I love the idea of just having this, like, so anyway, I was talking, I was talking to Paul the other day. I, like, I've never I been in therapy that. before, so I need to enjoy the, you know. No, I know. Do what you want. But you did it wrong. Mm. Or a Mayari. I loved it. I I thought it was so cool. It. I loved it. And I love the hair. It, for some reason, it was giving me Yzma. Yeah. Yzma, but in a suit. I love how skinny she was. I love how, I mean, that's an attractive human being. I meant Yzma. Spice, a little bit poison ivy. I, I mean, cute. It's the same as what we've seen from her. Listen, her drag is polished, but without the novelty of her sister, it's become very quickly apparent. Okay, okay. That we it's haven't seen all the same. We haven't seen any TikToks or pictures of them. What they would have worn together. I'm guessing it's pink and white. <laughs> Malaysia, Malaysia. No. <laughs> <laughs> Malaysia, baby doll, baby doll, baby doll, fox. Should we do a new thing with her? Whoever says it first will say Malaysia, and then the first baby doll, and then the other one says the second baby doll, and then the third fox. We all say it together. So, Malaysia, baby doll, baby doll, baby doll, fox. fox. Oh, I like the together, yeah. Malaysia, baby doll, baby doll, baby doll, fox. fox is next and i thought she looked beautiful i loved the hair i loved the makeup the top of the dress was fitting weird but i just liked it gown again yeah the beautiful gown beautiful gowns beautiful gowns the proportions were weird which i actually appreciated because it is the most different thing we've seen from her but yeah my gown. hair is gorgeous okay gown. and that's tie-dye did you dye for tie-dye no, I don't think it's that great of a runway prompt. I just don't. I, I don't. There's really not much you can do with it. Yeah. It's just you just gotta wear tie dye. Or do whatever Marsha did. There is a way to have made it go into tie dye. Like tie dye the bottom with red. So it looks like the blood really tie dyed in. She only tie dyed in strips the actual cutouts of the red droplets. It was so hard to see. You know what though? And she only fully, got this much time. I can fully imagine her cutting up the strips with her like crazy baby smile. <laughs> it did look like she cardboard. Look like, but I can imagine her cutting them out and being like, I am, I'm going to blow their fucking mind. This is Marsha, so Marsha, Marsha, give it a second pass. Fix I want it. you to show us what you Fix wanted. It. I want to see it because I believe in you. Yeah, I didn't say we don't believe in her. I, I just, feel like you did. It was bad. I don't. It wasn't the assignment. <laughs> I'm sorry, it wasn't. <laughs> That's crazy. You okay, okay. Let, no, 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 okay. Listen, listen, listen. What would listen. you have done? Okay, let's say that the prompt is Hound's Tooth. She comes out fully dressed as like a Brady Bunch character, and then she flips her ponytail, you see the beginning of a pattern of something. Is that Houndstooth? No. No! Okay, speaking that of That was a really tooth. long way to no, say I know, it. No, I know, I understand, like I understand, yeah, I understand, but when I was, was in, when I lived in Chicago, China. I used to live in Chicago. I heard. And there was a bar under the L, a restaurant and pub bar called the Houndstooth, and they had ribs, and I only went there once, and they had the best ribs. So I would do like Houndstooth bib. Why'd you only go once? Because then they moved across and I stopped eating meat for a time. I was a vegetarian for many years. 
What? When? I was a vegan for many years, just a lot of beans. But turns out the beans I was eating had little strips of bacon in them, so it right. wasn't really. Right. Yeah. You got little tiny strips of bacon that wrapped around each bean. Yeah. An uncircumcised bean is. <laughs> Alexis! <laughs> In a shocking turn of events, Aura wins, which I'm glad she won, but I didn't understand. I call, sh we were calling shenanigans. I like the storyline for her because she hasn't been standing out as much. They have, yeah, like they, they, the edit she's gotten hasn't been like the nicest. So I thought that was nice that she got a win, but I, but I, Sasha killed it. Sasha, Lucy killed mistress, it. Mistress or Lucy. Mistress. Even Lux did an amazing job. Yeah. I didn't understand, but like, so I'm it didn't be for her. her. Of course I'm happy for her. Like when they give the Academy Award to someone who does something that they should have won it years ago, but they didn't. Renee Zellweger. Or, or oh, no. whoever. No, I, I, I stand by mine. Yeah. So then we get a bottom two. It's shockingly Jax and Robin. Not shockingly to me in the edit that we received. In the edit that we received. But okay. I will be honest with you. For me, part of me. For me, I've seen all I need to see from where Jax's drag is at the time of the filming of this show. Mm. So I didn't mind her being in the bottom just because I think we've seen all we're gonna see from Jax at this point. And you can see through the pictures that she has now and of her at like events now, her drag is definitely upgraded and I'm so happy for her. But at, at the time of filming, I think I'm done. So I wasn't that upset to see her in the bottom. I was excited to see more just cause she was so incredible in her talent show. And I know that drag race isn't always about talent, but I wanted to see more of that. <laughs> Not always, that's true. <laughs> and then Robin. And then Robin, they started this whole journey say of- it, Say it, You're holding back, and I'm sorry. What I don't that like when mean? they do it. You're holding back. I don't like it. And you Why have do nowhere, you know? Who do you know? You have you nowhere know? to go. You have nowhere to go from that, because if they say you're holding back, you have two options. You have, I completely agree with you, I'll show you more, which is really your only option. Which is really only or, option. Or you can say, I'm not holding I'm back. I'm not holding and back. They say, this is oh, all I've got. So we don't want to see you. Exactly. Right. It's so, a weird yeah, corner to it. be backed into and then immediately sent off. Yeah. It felt like a stretch. I me. mean, if your goal was to get... <sighs> What did you just put? Did you put your jacket in your <laughs> I'm a little crotch? warm now. I'm a little heated, so I took my jacket off my lap. And put I know, it but down you put there. it in your crotch. <laughs> are you soaking something up? No, 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 no. I'm How completely hot dry are you? Oh, God. It was all <laughs> this entire episode felt so overproduced. Yeah, 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 yeah. And clunky. And so the bottom two being the bottom two, from what we saw, I think my bottom two, what would your bottom two have been? Spice and if if Anitra was really forgetting her words as much as they said she was. Well, that's the or, thing is like, if, or, but I think it was more they're trying to send. Maybe they just had to get Robin. I don't know. I don't know. The Robin thing just didn't make sense to me. I'm also though a big Robin fan. I'm absolutely obsessed with her yeah. and the ground she walks on. So I realize I've Call got my girlfriend. I've got my bias. So obviously I can't it's be trusted. So I should just. I'm it's leave. hard I'm because leave. it's hard because we want people to leave, but we don't want them all to leave. Well, we that's, didn't. Get, I don't want enough. The show. That's the joy of the show, right? It's hard because it's. This is we tough. Don't want anyone to leave, Maybe they get these Emmys for a reason, and you just never quite know yeah. if you're going to feel as good as the judges do with it. Well, the judges have nothing to do with it, as the producers do at the end of the, the episode. But we also love to complain. So I also appreciate I the fact that, that they sometimes fumble the ball. Sorry to sport, but they do. And this was, it, 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 I'm glad the episode's over. Yeah. Oh, that was the one thing I will say that it was a good, it, it was good editing or possibly just the world, the the way it happened. And you know, I just don't believe it or I, I can't believe it because it's TV. Anyway, Robin's note about she's fading into the background and then in the lip sync, Jax immediately starts doing her flips and her flips because she's cheerleader. So she immediately starts doing that. And Robin kept walking to the back of the stage behind Jax, who's doing flips. I was mm. like, girly pop. I know it's in the moment. It's hard to like fully think through everything everything because I'm sure it's all just adrenaline but and I really there was couldn't a part of me that tell. was like get out in front of Jax they yeah. keep saying that you're fan of the background you're putting yourself in the background yeah just and so I'm sad, sad to see her go I want to see her on an all-stars or something she has to be you just kind of feel the it polish, her coming in the polish. And the polish and she's so fucking likable and beautiful 
Well, that's what makes her likable. Speaking of beautiful and likable, we are so thankful. If you've been voting for us for the queer tees, we're oh so, my God. so thankful. Have we talked about it on the show? We haven't talked about it yet. Oh, we haven't? No! We got nominated for a queer tee. For, ah, best, web for series. best web series. And, you know, it has taken a long time for us to get here. To get to queer tees? And the fact that we are receiving this award. Did you, well we're not it's a nominee. It's not it's not an award. Did you know the queer tees existed before we got nominated? What you can do to help us win, the queer tees is at the end of this month and we will be going and we will be ah! looking gorge. Maybe we do it. And I'm gonna go I'm gonna walk up to every gay liberty. I'm gonna go gay rights. And I'm gonna say <laughs> <laughs> it's 100% what you're going to do all night. It's going to be we, so we practice our red carpet angles? I don't yeah, know, like mine. this. I want a lot of shoulder with just an, a little extra. What is you this? do look good from the back. Um, from the back. You look good with you the peek over the shoulder. Shit. You look good from the back too. <laughs> Thank you. No, I just meant like you love a peek over the shoulder. And I love Remember, the back of I your shirt. Do it. You can vote once a day, every day. Go to Queer Tees and vote for us for best web series. Yes. It is my understanding that you don't have to vote for every category every time you vote. No, you could just, you could vote, just for vote for us, us and then kind of move on. Or you could vote for the other ones. I think you George Santos. Yes, and... vote for George. But you can vote once a day and I think voting ends on the 21st. So if you could please I guess here's my thing. We're not gonna win. Here's my well, but here's my thing. We have to have a good losing face. We're gonna go. Okay, we got a we got a tip. Is we this got, televised? We got an insider tip. Is this televised? It's YouTube. We got an insider. You can watch the old award shows. <gasps> we got an insider tip that because we're nobodies, we need to get there early, and that way, everyone on the red carpet they don't have anyone to interview, so they want to talk to you because you're the only people there. Here's what we're gonna do. We're, we're gonna get, get there early. A couple out. She's gonna help them set up the carpet. She's gonna help them roll it out, and then yeah. once it's all set, then we'll start walking. We'll be like, "Do you want to talk to us?" You got no one else to talk to. And then we're gonna tell them our favorite colors and you know, whatever else questions they ask. Like, yeah. I don't know, I don't want kids, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, what what animals you would be. Yeah, so vote for us. <laughs> <laughs> so vote for us. No, we're so excited mm -hmm. and we just thank everyone for watching the show because without you, it wouldn't have happened at all. And I know it's just a silly little award show, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Isn't that fun? That's so cool. Yeah. We get to go to a real award show. We have to practice our speech for if we win. And then I think if we You're lose- You're not saying anything. Huh? That's our whole bit. God, I'm so sorry. I couldn't hear you. My ear was I think it would up. go. I think it would though, confuse but people I think if, if we, we lose, won, and then you. If I we lose, if we you lose, should, you should talk. I think if we lose, you should like pretend to be really mad at me. You know, because they have all the them lined up, their faces lined up, and it could be like us like this, and then we'll lose, and I'll be like, oh, yeah. and then you could just be like. I'm on board. I just have one question. You said I need to pretend to be mad. Also, another exciting thing that happened to us this week is we did our first show at the Astor. Oh, yes! Here in Hollywood. It was us and Meatball, Mama St. Merman, Mama Saint Pickle, Merman. Pickle, Rubella Spreads. Rubella Spreads DJ. We had a wonderful time. We did about a 45 minute hour long set of just us doing our two queen singing bit. Mm -hmm. And then we had a drag show and it was so fun. I got first, like, producing of a show. I was nervous. Here. But it went really well. We had a lot of fun. It went really, really well. And we met so many I of think you, we, so many yes, patrons Yes, thank you all up. for coming, thank Winnie you. and Patrick and all of them. And all the names. It was so much fun and if you want to see, we have the entire show up on Patreon. So join us over. So you can yeah. go watch that and you can see we sing, oh, we dance. make jokes, Meatball eats up bunch of hamburgers. I eat a couple of the leftovers. She does. She does. Yeah. So go to Patreon and check We that met, out. we hobnobbed. What? what? We hobnobbed. With? With the, with the LA Glitterati. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the real friends of WeHo were all there. <laughs> Do you think they'll I'm be kidding. at the they Queer Tees? Get in. They couldn't get in. Do you think they'll be at the Queer Tees? Are they nominated? I bet they are. I hope they are. But they're not a web series, so we don't have to worry about that. What if we go to the Queer Tees and we meet them? And we fight them. <gasps> What is it? What is it? Da da the cafeteria scene in West Side Story. Da na 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 da da There's a cafeteria scene. 
Oh, the dance. The dance. The dance oh, off. That's a gymnasium. You know, I did. Do you think a gym is a cafeteria? Do you think gyms are where you eat food? Sometimes they are. If you liked this, don't forget to like and subscribe because then you can see what's going to happen next. <laughs> <laughs> you can. We're also on Patreon where we have our Aster show up there. We also have other stuff that starts with ass. Yeah. So we're, we're both on Cameo as well as Auntie Chan. If you want a message from us, just go in there and say, Han, I'd like a message. And we'll say, hey. Oh, I got a mess. I, I have one from Randy. You know, I love Randy. I'll talk to you soon, Randy. Also, Wait, you can go to IMHO the show. One? Yes, obviously. You can go to imhotheshow.com and you can order Shamio and we have the background and it's like your own personal little episode. It's edited by me. Did I turn him off? Well, we will see you next week. Until and don't forget then. to vote for us on the Queer Tees. Oh yeah, of course. Oh my God, my little cheat has been out this whole time oh this is part of the okay no because metal, jesus metal. nailed to the cross and this is and, modern day nails yeah because we don't use the nails anymore we just use and also what do you think he safety tied that pin. little loincloth up with he probably safety pinned it <gasps> that's so true thank you i went to bible school you didn't but i actually did when i, I was in college church. no but okay i went to a private southern baptist college in mississippi and i've survived it i've thrived even we were required to take old testament and new testament mm. as like actual classes and we were required to go to chapel three times a week for the first two years and you had to scan your student ID. And if you didn't, if you didn't meet your chapel requirement, you didn't get your degree. That's just like when I was That's in Taekwondo and you had to bonkers. run and jump over people and break a board. You couldn't get your black belt until that. It's not like that at all. It's not, it's the, same. The, it's not the same at all. Same. But can you imagine being like, yes, I wanted to be an accountant and actually I did really well in school, but I missed a couple chapels, so I don't have my degree. Can I tell people that's oh, what happened? Fuck. That's why I don't have my degree? Yeah, because you didn't go to chapel. They know the real reason. My cousin has a, has a kids, I guess, and one of them. Do I look like the guy from Men in Black? The little <laughs> alien in the head? <laughs> the little alien inside the guy's head? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. My cousin has a kid and I guess he so, plays soccer. Sorry for her. Which he, kind of soccer? He regular soccer. Mm. And he broke both of his arms playing soccer. Oh, I guess football would be which kind. There's only one soccer. No, you're right. There are two soccers. So there's soccer with like the ball and then there's soccer Domestic with violence. like sock puppets. Oh. He broke both his arms. So he's literally like this. Remember? <laughs> Remember Angels in the Outfield or whatever? <laughs> He's just... Well, the he outfield's had one. not he soccer. The out, Angels in the Outfield is, is baseball. Balls, bats, arms. You know what I mean? But you don't need your arms in soccer. Exactly. So unless I you're think he's a fine. goalie I think he's or unless you're But he was about to in. test for his driver's permit. So I think he's upset that he can't legally drive with broken arms. Why not? I don't really have to do with that. With both arms broken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get my license. Welcome to my car. I can't turn very far. <laughs> oh, that was good. You did it. Thank you. Oh my God. Wait, I got you a present and it got delivered right before you got here. Well, where is it, lady? It's downstairs. Hang on. Hi. With arms wide open. Thank you all for joining us today on this most recent episode of IMHO. It stands for In My Homosexual Opinion. I just want everyone to know that your support means the world to me. And actually more than the world the universe, because you mean more to me. There okay. is a lot I've been meaning to, s oh. Okay, what is it? Oh my. I ordered oh. you this present. Is it a, it's a present? I didn't ask for it? Right, it was after you told a really long story on our show. Oh no, wait, 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 okay, wait. Oh shit, it's all wrapped in plastic. Can I open it, can I open it? Yeah, but I don't want you to see what it is before I'll open you... it, close my eyes, I'll close my eyes and open it. Do no, you close it's my too eyes? wrapped. Do you want me Here. to close my eyes? I'm gonna cut it open <sighs> and then I'll give it to you. Okay. That's one thing. Can I give you a tip as a gift giver? Kids, I love giving gifts. If it's wrapped up, if it's like a huge deal to unwrap, it's shitty to open. Open it first and put it in an easily accessible box. Okay. My eyes are closed. Okay, now you can look. Okay, this is definitely, you can look. This is a Barbie. Yeah. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, it's Hollywood Nails 
Barbie. I got your Hollywood nails. I loved this bitch. And she comes with her own nails. Yeah, I am does. going to wear these. Oh, Why my not? God. I mean, you could maybe wear them on your pinky. Those are made for children. Oh, you know what? What were you doing? We were tell You were telling a story These are all. Barbie. There are like six or seven of these in my old attic, in my old Right. You home. said that you cut their hair, and then you put them in a hole in the attic. And so I, I wanted like to get hair. you a girl where you didn't cut her hair. One of them came with, like, pig space buns, half up space ones but she's just regular bang wall bang i love her so much i i'd say i don't want to take her out of the box but i'm gonna you take her to. out of the box yeah you absolutely have to so, oh my god and she comes with like these are two different dresses so she has two dresses you don't understand i wanted you to have your own hollywood nails barbie oh my that's god. not stuck in an attic somewhere i i want to wear these nails looking at them i don't know that they'll fit me they won't but they'll fit your spirit this nail polish is so old <laughs> Is there a nail polish? There's nail polish down there. Look, look, look. Oof. I think there's a purse in there. Just open it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, thank you. You're welcome. Where'd you get this? eBay. Oh my god, I love her. See, every now and then you drop you drop these little things and you're like, Hollywood Nails Barbie. And I was like, oh well, I gotta get her one. Because you said all that all yours were dead. You know. My favorite toy I ever played with when I was little was a... Um, I'm not getting you another toy. Okay, I thought I cracked the yeah. code. Look, oh my god. <gasps> <laughs> Look at this! That's cursed nail polish if I have ever seen. Oh, it's completely dry. That's dry. Gross. You can make a ring out of it. Look at her shoes. Her shoes are so cute. I would wear those. Don't open it. Oh my God, the smells. We have to smell it. It's like poppers. Oh, oh the, little, a... the little brush is dried inside of it, <laughs> so the brush came off. Oh, there's, oh, there's, a, there's a little brush down there. Oh my God. Okay, Barbies, the utmost serotonin. Okay, Untwisting these things. Oh, is that little Barbie poppers? Yeah. Ta-da! Oh, I love it! I love that she's Hollywood Nails Barbie, but she's not wearing nails. She's not wearing nails. Which is which is what Holly Weird's all about. It's about subverting expectations. Okay? You expect good movies and then you and then Barbie. I couldn't think of a bad movie. Oh, what was that one that it's with a girl, Emily and Perry girl? That's a bad movie. <clears throat> which one? Mirror Mirror? Just make you burp. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 